Disney's great animal adventure comes to 4K for the first time. We'll be going over the video and audio quality, cover options, and if it's worth the upgrade. In for review today is Disney's Zootopia on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. I've always enjoyed this movie and I thought it was just a really fun story, it had some really great visuals and a catchy soundtrack. I owned the Blu-ray and I thought it looked pretty good, but I figured an upgrade would really catch some of the finer details and enhance the color. For video quality, I think this did a fantastic job. I noticed a huge amount of detail on the characters and the image just looked really sharp and clear. I also thought the HDR usage really enhanced the movie as a majority of it takes place outdoors in a bright setting. The cityscapes of the movie really looked great as well, and I loved the initial scene of Judy entering the city via train. You could see all four parts of the city, and the HDR really made this scene even more stunning than it was on the standard Blu-ray. I'll give this one a 9 for overall video quality. Audio is once again downplayed thanks to Disney's Atmos sound. I thought this one was by far the lowest sounding out of the three I've reviewed so far. I turned this one up way more than I did Tangled and Moana, and I really didn't notice as much use of surrounds as I'd like to have heard. I did see this in theaters and I recall them using some great overheads and I just didn't notice them in this release. I'll give this one a 6.5. As for cover options, you have the standard one that falls in line with the other releases and while it does look like just the rest of the Disney movies hitting 4K recently, I kind of like this one and I thought it worked well with the theme of the movie. I can't say that for the other ones, but this one doesn't look bad. It's just clip art with an orange background, but for whatever reason, I don't hate it. Best Buy has a nice still book that utilizes the orange color as well, but it also gives us more of the characters on the cover and I like this one. My overall verdict on this one is that it's a really nice upgrade in terms of picture quality and some of the scenes are really visually appealing. Now I'm not a big fan of the audio, but we really don't have a choice until Disney gets their act together. This film is set to be released on Disney Plus next week and I'm curious what the sound will be like on the streaming version. It will be available in 4K on there so I'm going to have to check that out. Again, I will say that thus far Moana is winning out this week's releases, but I'd rank this one second when it comes to video. Now hopefully this has helped your decision a little bit. Be sure and smash that like button if you enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this release and if you plan on picking it up. Thanks for watching everyone, and be sure and check back tomorrow when I'll be continuing my Disney reviews of the week.